Today, the trail bike shootout between the giant XTC Advance Plus, a plus size hardtail that blurs the lines between cross country and trail, and the giant Trance Advance, a bike that's born and bred for epic trail bike riding. The course that I'm going to use for today's test is one that is a cross-country race course, but it's more technical than most of the cross-country race courses we have in this area. And it's unique in that the laps are about 30 minutes long. So I'll be able to do a lap on the plus, switch over to the trance, go back to the plus and back to the trance, and I'll wear my GoPro. And I'm gonna talk through the features of each bike and what features I feel like makes the bike a good trail bike and how it compares to the other one. Now, even though I'll be using the XTC Advance Plus, uh, I'm not only going to talk about this particular bike, but also how hardtail plus bikes ride as trail bikes, because I feel like plus size tires make the most dramatic difference on a hardtail. So in other words, on a full suspension bike, you have the suspension to absorb a lot of the trail chatter, and give you braking traction and cornering traction. On a hardtail, you're relying more on the tires, and so the plus size tires conform more to the trail, again, giving you better braking performance and better traction in the corners. Now, even though the course that I'll be riding today doesn't have really long extended climbs or descents, they are pretty technical and pretty steep, so I feel like it's going to be a good sample of what I'm going to experience in the mountains on these bikes. In five days from now, I'm heading up to Brevard, North Carolina to ride Pisgah National Forest and DuPont State Forest, and that is epic trail bike conditions. But I do feel like the features on this course today have some similarities in terms of rocks and some pretty, again, pretty steep climbs and descents. So a good sample of mountain trail bike riding. So now it's time to get geared up and head out and see how these bikes compare. Got the bikes loaded up, we're ready to roll. So I'm heading out on the plus bike first. Let's get on it. Short little technical climb here. My gosh, these plus tires grip so well. <laughs> wow. Alright, bike switch back to the right. One thing that the plus size hardtail really has going for it is a super short wheelbase and those tight switchbacks are piece of cake. So here is a downhill that's a little a little rocky, just a small little loose stuff, a little lime rock. Another thing great about the plus tires is how they handle just the little choppy stuff, like lo loose little rocks, little tiny you know pits and divots in the trail. Even on the hardtail, they make a, a big difference. All right, so here I'm coming up on a short little climb that's, again, kind of pitted, kind of loose. I'm going to kind of push it on the plus bike and see how in with these little loose rocks. Stay in the choppy stuff. Oh, yeah. This 
kind of a fast section coming up that gets a little tight. And the plus bike is handle as well because of how tight the wheel base is. You don't want to go right there because it's five feet from a big cliff. Just a little trail detour to show our mini Grand Canyon here at this trail system. That's a big drop down to the water. All right, steep loose climb. This is where the plus tires to me have one of the best advantages is steep loose climbs. It's hard to get these tires to slip out. All right, lap number one is done on the plus. Now it's time to switch over to the trans. So the first thing I noticed jumping back on the trans is the difference in the steering with the slacker head angle. It feels like the steering at slower speeds just kind of flops over and it's a little bit more cumbersome to get the bike around tight stuff. That plus size bike, because of the snappiness of the hardtail and the shorter wheelbase, goes around tight stuff really easily. How's it going? Good. Coming up. Hey, Darla. Hey, hey. Ah, it's okay, I'm gonna come on your left side. You're good. Oh, yeah, with good the lamp. Hey. It's like Disney World out here today. The big race tomorrow here. But that sluggishness on slower tight stuff on this bike makes for a bike that's super stable on fast stuff. Really stable in the corners at speed. And then the other thing you notice on this bike is how plush the rear end feels. It's like a cloud even compared to plus size tires on the hardtail. This bike is so plush and smooth. You can get a little lazy <coughs> on the descent because the bike's gonna do a lot of work for you. So far, both bikes feel awesome on this trail. Really impressed over and over with the plus size tires. You know, the question is, how do plus size tires feel on a long travel full suspension bike? And my next phase of this project is putting uh, 2.6 tires on this bike. Do you need plus size tires on a full suspension bike? I don't know, but I intend to find out. Tell you what, the slack head angle on this bike, when it starts to go sideways, it's no big deal. It's so easy to control this bike on the drift. Coming up on that steep, or the uh, sharp right hand switchback that was no big deal on the plus bike. Let's see how it is on this bike. Oh yeah, <laughs> no big deal either. All right, we'll climb and then Fast little descent. Right. 
<clears throat> so this is that descent, they're a little choppy. This is the climb that we did on the plus bike that was kind of loose and choppy. Oh, it feels great on this bike too. I don't think I have any less traction on this bike. Plus size hardtail. It feels like you're in a more aggressive climbing position. This bike feels like the tire wanders around a little bit. So on a long, steep climb, I give the advantage to the plus hardtail. And if you ever have to jump out of a saddle, you got instant power. Hard to pick a winner so far on this trail. They both have their advantages and disadvantages. This bike definitely feels like you're in a more relaxed riding position on the flats and of course like I said on the climbs. I think the advantage of this bike is when the trail gets really chunky. So big rocks drops where this bike <coughs> is going to be a better option. So <coughs> this bike is probably going to be more versatile for trail riding. Now if you're if you're trying to look at one bike for cross country in trail that plus bike cannot be beat because of the fact that you can put 29ers, 29er wheels on that bike and it literally transforms from a good trail bike to a really good cross country race bike. So coming up on this fast section again, that was tight. Let's see how it feels on this bike. So I'd probably give the advantage to the plus hardtail on really tight stuff. It just feels more snappy. You can kind of switch it between turns quicker. <clears throat> but this one's not too far behind it. All right, so coming up on this somewhat longish climb for this course. That gets steep and loose at the top. And the plus bike was not even phased by the loose stuff. See how this one does. Yeah, the front wheel wanders more on this bike than the plus size hardtail, for sure. Coming up on a section that's just a lot of up and down. Some loose stuff, some little off camber stuff. Again, like I said in the opening, just a good sample of when I take this bike up to the mountains. It's a fun course. Both of these bikes break so well. I don't think one is better than the other in terms of braking. The only exception would be really chunky rocks. This bike would have the advantage for braking, but on loose stuff, 
even when it's real steep, even the plus tires on the hardtail break equally well. It's pretty amazing to me, actually. So these tires, even though they're smaller, still have a lot of grip. These are knobby nicks, front and rear. So this knobby nicks a 2.35. On the plus bike, it's a 3.0 in the front. And the plus uh, bike has a rocket run in the back. Um, and I don't feel like this bike lags too far behind in terms of traction, because it does have the suspension to help it out. Steep loose climb. <laughs> this sounds like my bike making those noises churning up the hill yeah this bike handles looser steep stuff almost as well as the plus bike still kind of gives the advantage to the plus bike for steep loose climbs but this one's still really good so as far as descending, that's yeah, a tough call. It's going to depend on what your descent is like. Um, if it's, like I said, chunky and rocky and a lot of drops, I would take this bike over the plus bike. Um, but if the plus bike will handle <coughs> kind of that, that pea-sized gravel, if your, if your trails have descents like that, it's uh it's gonna handle it very well so first impression is the plus bike makes a great trail bike a little chunky stuff here i actually forgot to do this section on the plus bike so when i do it again on the plus bike i'll talk about how it handles those chunkier rocks Very little slippage on this bike. I'm not sure if you need plus tires on a long travel trail bike. It might add too much weight that you don't really need. All right, I'm gonna switch back over to the plus bike. Jumping back on the plus bike. This is one impressive bike. <laughs> it handles the uh, the sharp corners better than the trance. It feels snappy and agile without feeling twitchy or unstable. Going up to the little bit of a loose climb. Yeah, well, it's hard to pick winter on this trail. But this is a fun bike to ride. This little off camber section here. It's so good on the plus size tires. So good. If I'm just pedaling in the saddle, I prefer, prefer full suspension on G outs and roots where I just want to keep my butt planted in the saddle. But well, here's the deal. If I were going to buy hardtail with hardtail for trail riding no question I would get a 27.5 plus oh, plenty of traction even when I stall oh yeah I actually like the way the front end of this bike feels better on this course than the trance. Such a good feel. Not too twitchy, not too slow. Completely glued to the trail on the front end. This bike feels so confident at speed. Way more confident than a standard hardtail. If 
you like climbing out of the saddle, plus spike feels better. No wallowing in the rear suspension. You can really power up climbs on this bike. On the full suspension, it's more of a in the saddle steady effort. All right, let's see how the plus bike handles this up and down loose stuff. I will say that if you hit divots in the trail or something that kind of takes you off guard, uh, it, it can jar you pretty good on this bike. That's why you have to be on your toes more on this bike. Uh, back there, I hit a little divot, kind of bucked me up a little bit. Wasn't really ready for it, so yeah, a little bit more attention needed on the hardtail plus bike for trail riding because trail riding you hit such a variety of conditions. All right, here we go. Small little rocks. Loose climb in the saddle. No wandering at all of the front wheel. section. What's up, little bike? Hey. hey. I'm gonna come around on your left side here, buddy. Thank you. I love to see kids out mountain biking. It warms my heart. Some of that section of trail was rutted out. They've had a couple hair scrambles out here on motorcycles. The trail avoids most of what they rode, but some of it, like back there, you had some ruts. And the plus size tires, are so much better on ruts than a standard tire. Whereas standard tires might get thrown around a lot more. Plus size tires is unfazed. So coming up on this rock garden, let's see how the plus size tires on the hard to handle this compared to the full suspension. So the full suspension does feel, even though it flops around at slower speeds, it feels like the terrain can't overpower the front end as much when that head angle is slacker. Hopefully that makes sense. On this bike, it feels like the uh, terrain could throw the handlebars a little bit, bit easier, so something to consider. All right, I'm done with this lap. One more lap on the trance. Like I said in the beginning of the video, doing this kind of testing on a course like this is pretty unique in the sense that you're not heading out on an epic long ride. You can do laps and switch bikes, so it really helps give a good comparison. All right, back on the trance for the final bike swap. And this bike rides amazing as well. Uh, it is easier to push the front tire too hard on this bike and slide it out as opposed to the plus bike, but like I said earlier, when this bike does slide, the geometry makes it very easy to control. Um, really looking forward to seeing what 2.6 tires feel like on this bike. It could be the perfect size tire for trail riding, especially on a longer travel full suspension. I don't think you can beat the 3.0 and 2.8 combination on a hardtail plus bike. But on a full suspension, you don't quite need that much grip 
because the downside is more weight and you're already carrying a little bit more weight with the rear suspension off camber no problem on this bike either all right so here's a big steep hill that's not on the race course but we're going to walk up it and then ride down it because you're not riding far up this way <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you're going to ride up this one. No. Oh, cow. Big drop. So, it's really hard to pick a winner. If you have ridden mainly on the road or cyclocross or a hardtail 29er, a full suspension trail bike with this much travel may be too much of a jump for you. You may feel better on the plus bike. The plus bike feels better sprinting out of the saddle climbing. This bike feels better on rougher terrain staying in the saddle and on rough descents. They both feel good, but I would give the, the advantage to the trance. If I had to pick one, I'd pick the Trance because of its versatility. It is a bike that you can take a lot of places and it's gonna do just fine. Whereas the Plus bike is still gonna be a very versatile bike. Like I said, it leans more towards cross country. So if you want a bike that does both, that's the one to go with. Um, it's gonna be somewhat limited on really chunky terrain uh, at high speeds. Now, if you just want to take it easy and not try to kill it on a descent, you're going to love that plus bike. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully I've said some things in it that will help you determine which style of trail bike will be right for you. Hardtail plus bike or a longer travel full suspension bike. And, you know, there's always the option of a shorter travel full suspension bike. So... It's whichever one fits your riding style, your trails. And there is no clear winner. But like I said, if it were me, I'd go for the trance. But that's very subjective or very, yeah, very subjective. And a very personal decision. So thanks for watching and stay tuned as I put 2.6 tires on the trance. And we'll see how it does. Thanks for watching.